So I am Colin Telford. I am director of a marketing recruitment agency in Manchester in the UK. I think a CV that a student creates that has all of their experience from an education point of view and from a work point of view is really the first step. You know, it's, it's black and white, it's a piece of paper. And what employers, what recruitment agencies are looking for is to, is to get some depth behind that and, and, and do some research online on exactly um, who this person is, what groups they're involved with, what their interests are, what their hobbies are, what their skill sets can be and how that's linked to the job and the role that, uh, that they're applying for. So, so how can they find out more about this person and how can that candidate get that across using digital and online channels? So our job is to find the best candidate for our client and our clients want to know exactly why they would be right and why they would be the right fit. When we get briefed, it's not only about the, the degree that they've, uh, and the, the qualification that they have, um, but they want to know, are they going to be the right cultural fit for that particular organization? Um, are they going to fit into the team? And are they going to be able to, to, to potentially um, grow and develop their, their career, which is what that employer will want? So we have to use a tick list almost of um, to identify the right people. And the more ticks that you have, the more likely that that person is going to be right uh, for that particular role. So everything from CV to experience and everything with regards to personal branding and how active you are online and in that area um, will give us more of a picture of exactly who that person is and, and, and make sure that we, we, we put forward the right person. For students in 2018, the amount of resources that are online and the information and advice is, is vast. You know, you can, you can access everything from job specifications for particular roles, job adverts. You can, you can actually see how people are progressing in different types of roles, and be it in marketing and creative and digital or beyond. And by, by looking at that path that they have taken and that person's experience and everything that they have put in place, you can really get an idea of what you should be doing to get uh, to where you want to be. Um, so it's, there's, there's, there's great examples. It's a great resource. And you know, look, look at job boards, look at you know, case studies, look at the employers and try and build a picture of exactly what you need to do um, to, to develop your career post-student life. Because employers know that online is a huge resource as well, they will be expecting you to do your research before you turn up for an interview. That will be first, second or you know, beyond. Uh, they will question you on the company, the background, any marketing campaigns that they may have undertaken, any news stories about that particular, um, that, that particular company. If they have a newsletter, sign up to the newsletter, interact potentially purchase something from the company so you can see how you would, uh, you, would, you would interact with them as a customer. Because only then, by living and breathing it, can you actually talk to someone about you know, the, the role that you'll be doing when you, when, when, when you go in. So as I said, there's so much resource available and you can, you can do your research to really impress when you go into that first interview.